that's the worst co-worker you've ever worked with. Hired a cook on a good recommendation. He was just fine the first two weeks. Then I noticed food going missing. Then supplies started going missing. Then a customer told me that he had been adding auto 30% tips his food purchases. When I looked at the books, I saw that he had been adding 30% tips to all the credit card sales. And the cash rings were off from what should have been sold. I fired him that day. The next day he came in and apologized. Said he was on drugs and was going to rehab. I wished him well. Then next day he tried to break in after close and was caught. Idiot. He just wouldn't work. Just wouldn't. This was in a research lab. He was a visiting researcher from another country, and he spent a lot of time asking tons of non-work-related questions, to the point of disrupting others. Work. In the course of a year, he designed one very basic experiment, and didn't actually do it. Just designed it. He was above doing bench work apparently. He picked fights with everyone doing any experiment related to the one he was planning, because he didn't want to have to share credit for anyone. He wouldn't clean up after himself, wouldn't pick up things from the floor. He actually called me in from another room because he wouldn't take a string lest he bag out of his mug. Also on a different occasion, because he'd knocked some things off the hanger on the back of the door and for whatever reason wouldn't pick them up. It was kind of like working with a child. He must have had servants where he lied. I don't know how but he was there for his PhD. Boss fired him. He was one of two people in her 30 plus year career that she ever fired. Edit. 90 messages. Whoa. In the interest of not inspiring forward slash reinforcing any stereotypes. I won't name the country. Such a person could come from many. And I dare say. Any. Country honestly. I worked with a guy who'd interrupt any conversation to talk about anything as if he was the expert. And I don't use anything as a hyperbole. He truly had something to say about anything, including things he had never heard of or obviously didn't know much about. When the subject being discussed was something in the category of things he didn't know much about, he would slowly steer the conversation away from the original discussion to something he would like to talk about at the moment. It was both amazing and the most annoying thing I had ever had to deal with. He was like that Wikipedia game where you start with Star Wars and somehow end up on LGBTQ plus struggles. Not to mention the conversation was basically 98% of him just talking non-stop. Everybody else was way too polite and against conflict to say anything, including me. So most people just tried to stay away from him, but he'd follow people around. I eventually left, but I even remember having a nightmare where he was the best man at my wedding. This guy named Daniel I used to work with at McDonald's in high school. He let everyone know he worked out and enjoyed being on the football team. He had this thing about taking five shits a day. He would walk by on his way back from the toilet, chest out, shoulders back and triumphantly announce that's sheet number three, fucking Daniel. This is about 15 years ago but the office I worked in instituted a scent free policy. One woman, who was already insufferable, was so offended by it that she snuck in her perfume collection. She walked down the halls and sprayed perfume into empty offices or cubicles when no one was looking or before everyone arrived in the morning. This went on for well over a month or two and we had no idea who was responsible. My co-workers and I started referring to this mysterious person as the Chanel Bandit. She was finally caught on camera in the act. She left for three weeks vacation and was unaware that we had installed cameras after a break-in. Some of us already suspected her, as the Chanel bandit mysteriously stopped spraying while she was away. She quit right after she was caught. None of us were sad to see that Cedar scented psycho leave. I had a manager once who dumped trash on my desk my third day there. She said it was to remind me that taking out the trash was part of my job description. It wasn't. I was a research assistant at a mortgage firm. He would walk in every day like it was his first day with no memory of anything we showed him the previous day. He was only focused for the first 30 minutes then the rest of the time would be on his phone and try to work with one hand which is bad because I work in a restaurant. 
can't cook with one hand but that didn't stop him from trying then one day he just stopped showing up for like a week then was confused when he came back and was fired. Edit. I'm not sure if he had memory issues or anything like that. At least he didn't tell us or the owner. He did however like to talk about how easy our job was because he'd had four other restaurant jobs before this one. He was only 19, but we didn't make him do anything complicated but he would forget easy things like where we kept burger buns or where buttons were on the register. Also he always left trash laying around after he was done with a job it would be me and my other co-workers who cleaned up after him and his excuse was always that he didn't think it mattered because it was gonna get cleaned up eventually. He still comes in every once in a while to watch our TV, sometimes with friends and sometimes by himself. He never buys anything but he just does it quietly so no one bothers him. He creeped the fuck out of all the girls at work and then it came out he had stalking and sexual assault charges pending outside work. Fired that day. My worst company worker was one I worked with when I was a cashier at Walmart. She approached me and asked me to cash out her paycheck. I was still new at the job and never got training on how to do that function. She was sympathetic. So she walked me through how to do it. Transaction over and done. I go on about my day. I get called back a couple of days later by my managers and they circled me in an office and accused me of stealing. After tears, videotapes, and telling them what happened they told me that apparently this co-worker of mine had stolen not only from me, but several other people that day as well. They just wanted to confirm I wasn't in on the deal. Fuck Walmart and fuck that bitch for almost getting me arrested. No contest. It was the literal crackhead I worked with for four months that was also secretly living in the office and being completely nonsensical when he was actually working. We found a mattress folded up in the warehouse after he was let go and an actual, brand new crack pipe, with a price tag on it, to boot, squirreled away back there. He and his family, not just him living in the office, left discarded food everywhere like pizza crusts in the toilet brush holder in the bathroom, what even, and they left hair in the sink in the bathroom as they were obviously bathing in there, too, as we had no actual bathing facilities in the office. One day during his tenure, he sent an email saying his alarm didn't go off and he'd be in at X time, which kept getting moved back later and later. He eventually showed up at 4.40pm and we closed at 5pm, lol. See comment above about secretly living in the office. There's so much more I could go into. It was a wild four months. That's for sure. My coworker likes to initiate conversations. Then those long pauses where you go to say something back. Then he cuts you off and keeps talking. He has entire conversations almost entirely by himself. He also likes to make changes to my paperwork before it's turned in ends up riddled with spelling mistakes while he tries to make the content look smarter. Fortunately it's all electronically stamped with who made revisions. I worked at a grocery store and one of the scheduling ladies was a total seed bomb. When you work at a grocery store you expect to have shifts all over the place. That's part of the job so I'm not complaining about that. Just about two years into working there I had an accident and broke my thumb forward slash hand. Not while at work unfortunately lol, and needed surgery. I went to apply for employment insurance, e, and they required a record of employment, ro, so I asked the woman in charge of that, the aforementioned scheduling lady, if she would mind sending that off so I could still pay rent while I was off work recovering, btw she told me she already had. So I go back to the e-offices and they told me they still had no row so I go back to my old work and ask her a second time. This happens until I ask her to do it. Four times. This resulted in me having to borrow money from my parents for Christmas in order to pay my rent. When I was an intern, there was this old shrew who would call people into her office. My cube shared a thin wall, gossip, then call those people in to tell them what was said etc. She would try to frame people for she she did wrong. She was so arrogant. And she refused to adapt to workforce modernization. Example, she refused to learn how to hyperlink in emails, documents, 
etc. A real ray of sunshine she was. Back when I worked at a restaurant I was friends with the bartender, chill dude, right up until they made him manager and that small amount of power and increase in pressure made him so angry all the time. He screamed at me that I was shit at my job, because I didn't do a thing that I've never been asked to do before. He made me miss my last bus so I couldn't get home. It was pitch black outside and I cried on the bench outside the restaurant. Worst working day and worst company worker. It took me a long time to get over that and realize I wasn't a sheep worker. He was just stressed and didn't know how to handle it I suppose. I've worked a lot of factories, but one I worked at was mainly for felons. The pay you complete sheet and work you so hard it tears you body and mind up. I just graduated high school and it was my second factory so I didn't know any better. One guy I worked with, we nicknamed Big Matt since we already had another Matt. Well Big Matt was a big fan of crystal and steroids so the dude was absolutely jacked. But this 35 year still lived with his mom. He said it had to do with him being a kid and walking in her being raped and ever since then he never wanted to leave her alone. At the time I thought wow, that would explain the substance abuse. He just wants to be strong to protect her. Well, I was a fucking idiot. Two months later, Big Matt and two co-workers didn't show up. So I asked the supervisor what happened but he didn't know either. Next day one of the co-workers came in and told us that all three had been arrested because after buying an O of weed, Big Matt's mom called the cops on them. So before the cops showed up Big Matt, our six foot some odd inch buff meth, had beat his mother within an inch her life for calling the cops on him. Next day I looked him up, and sure enough he was booked in a local prison. Suppose that has to be the worst co-worker out of all the ones I faced. Subscribe like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe like and comment.